Hi guys, welcome to another Surface RT video and in this video we're going to look at the contrast of what I was looking at in the previous video which was that applications are evolving on the Windows Surface RT Windows 8 operating system. Some applications and some developers are simply not learning a lesson which is still bugging the hell out of me with so many applications. Now in the bottom corner here I have uh, three applications, uh, news applications, and they all suffer from the same thing. So let's just choose TechCrunch for example to begin with. And when the application loads up you'll see that the front end of it is very pretty and we have this side scrolling uh, motion which is now uh, very popular in the uh, Windows uh, Surface or Windows 8 operating system. Uh, plenty to see, lots of information. I'm very happy that the text font size is quite small in this particular part of the application. However, the moment I go into an application, we have this text here, which obviously you have no chance of reading on the camera. I would have to zoom in about to that amount in order to be able to read the text on the camera. But if I zoom out, it's probably about whoa, what, a good 200 words there. If I just scroll along a little bit more, there's about three to 400 words there. And there's just too much information on the screen at once. And of course, if I try to look for an option to change the uh, settings, there's nothing here on the charm bar settings. And then if I scroll down from the top, there's just an op option to save the article and go to home. So again, this to me is another useless application because it's a very unenjoyable experience to try and read an article here. Let's go back and we'll try CNET and we'll uh, see that it more or less suffers from the same problem. Let's just uh, go back to the home page on this one. So again, lovely front end, big fonts, big screen, pictures and so on. So it's nice to very quickly scroll through all this information. Uh, very nice. I like the front end. I want to use this. It's, it's even got a nice option where you scroll down from the top and then you can go to all the different categories, which I like as well. A nice way to navigate quickly from uh, section to section. But again, the moment I go into an article, we can see that the text is quite small and so the length of the line here is horrible. Uh, I need there to be either more columns or the ability to make the text uh, a sh uh, bigger. Let's just try and find another article which has a bit more text in it. So here is a better example. Uh, as you can see it's like reading a an A4 piece of paper which just has text on it all the way through. Too much for me. Again let's look at the settings. Uh, we don't seem to have any options here about, whoops, let's just go back to CNET. We don't have any options here which look as if I can adjust the font setting. So I'm stuck with this font setting which again for my personal preference is too large. So we'll give up on that application. One more try, we'll try Tom's Guide. Again, another technology um, application, and you, you would think all these technology applications would cater to different tastes and accessibility, but again, nice front end. We'll go into a new story, which says it's no longer available. That's a, a nice uh, article. Let's try and find something else. And again, massive long line of text. I don't really want to read this not a pleasant experience. So I will quit out of the application and I will probably never use it again. So who is still leading the way in terms of news applications and obviously uh, text and font sizes? It is of course this Republic team. They've got Appy Geek, News Republic and now Sports Republic. Now the text here is nice and big and the reason it's nice and big is because I have been given the option to change the size font. If we go to preferences here, there's this little option here that says article text size and I can scroll left and right to completely adjust the text size to my preference. So no matter how you like to read your articles, you can choose the way you want to read them. And the final point is, I'm whinging on about taste and preferences here. But it makes the Surface RT, in terms of accessibility for people with uh, maybe a par partially sighted people or people who uh, have problems reading text for whatever reason, 
it makes it a very unattractive tablet to approach. Uh, so if they want this in education settings, or if they want this in the mass market, like other tablets are starting to do, I'm seeing a lot of um, people now of, uh, I would say, the baby boomer generation, 60-year-olds, 70-year-olds, wanting to go with tablets now for ease of use in terms of reading and having something that's not quite as complicated as a computer. Well, tablets fit that market. But if I can't read the text because it's so small, then they've got a bit of a problem. So, again, I've uh, stressed this point before in a... Um, Surface RT review and I'm going to stress it again application makers you must cater for people's preferences and be able to adjust font sizes because at the moment I'm finding it a big struggle to find uh, many applications which have this type of font size which I prefer so thanks for watching guys uh, I hope you found that uh, in enjoyable and informative uh, maybe if you're trying to decide whether to uh, purchase a Surface RT this is still one of the deal breakers for me uh, and a reason why I wouldn't recommend purchasing the RT along with many other reasons which I'll uh, go on to in a full review uh, which I'll probably do in the next month or so. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon in another Surface RT video.